join us tomorrow as our friends at Luther Family Ford present this week's weather kit. Braden Sorensen from Fisher. Looking forward to visiting with Braden about the weather here across the valley. Oh, there I am. Hey, everybody. All right, we have a live look at our sky cam down at the Dakota Magic Casino. A beautiful mix of clouds and sunshine on a bitter cold day across the valley today. But as mentioned, we didn't have to worry too much about those winds throughout the day. So made the wind chills a little more bearable, if you can say that. Right now, north wind at Hector's five miles per hour, and it's making it feel like four below here. Air temperatures four below already in Cavalier. Zeros in Devil's Lake and Langdon. Four below as well in Roseau, but look at this, a balmy 10 for you in Lakes Country at Detroit Lakes. Not bad there, seven for Gwinter, Valley City, and Jamestown. A very popular reading at this hour. Here's a look at the uh, wind chills that aren't much of a factor in Lakes Country, but there's enough wind to cause some robust wind chills in the teens below for our northern counties here this evening. Clear skies for most areas across the valley, a little light snow in central South Dakota and just a little bit showing up out here near Minot as we head to the overnight hours. We don't see uh, too much upwind from us. A huge storm system making its way into the southwestern United States. This is going to work its way into the central plains and will bring Friday snow. But it looks like most of that stays to the south in South Dakota, the way it looks like it's going to track at this time. So we'll keep you updated on that. Here's what you can expect this evening. If you're out and about, bring the parka with you. It's going to be cold. We will have wind chills between 10 and 20 below, but we're not talking the near 30 below stuff that we saw last night. At 10 o'clock, temperatures will be near zero for many. A little colder up in northern Minnesota. That cold core of air works its way off into the iron range. And by morning, with the increase in clouds, remember those clouds radiate some energy, some may see temperatures start warming a bit, like in Jamestown and Devil's Lake. Otherwise, many of us starting at near zero to five below for air temperatures and wind chills in the teens below. Now, as we go through the day, the clouds continue to build throughout the region. Temperatures will be much like today, almost a repeat performance. Not a lot of wind to be concerned about. And again, those, uh, the increase in clouds will keep us from getting too cold overnight tonight. Five below will be the reading in the morning here in Fargo. We warm up to 10 in the afternoon with a north breeze at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Then some mighty cold air begins to push its way in as that cold Arctic uh, core works its way right over the valley Friday and into Saturday. So that's still on track. Two below. Uh, in Langdon for your afternoon. 11 in Wapton, 14 in Sisseton, and 12 for Oaks with eights in Valley City and Jamestown. All right, here is a fantastic picture a fitting for our current weather. We'll call this one Frostbite, taken at the Wapton Sculpture Park. Thanks, Jane, for uploading that creative photo. Indeed, it was a biting frost today, 10 tomorrow. Now, that cold core starts arriving on Friday. We stay below zero for the entire day. That snow will hit in South Dakota, but we'll be on the cold side of that system. That core of air spends the weekend here. We'll have lows in the teens to 20s below, and then a little bit of a warming trend. And I say a little bit because we'll have highs in the teens, the way it looks. Good news on that second Arctic blast, Andrea. Okay, yeah. Um, it looks like models are delaying it a little bit. So oh. as opposed to being here next weekend, mm -hmm. it may be beyond that before it gets here, but it still does look like uh, the Arctic air is packing its bags. Okay, and maybe it'll change even more by then. That happens with our long-range models. Yeah, yep. thank you. You bet. Washington